it's created a huge interest in the sport here. I mean, I've seen it since I arrived here on Monday. The newspapers, my fellow IOC members talking to me about it. They're all, all been reading about it. The IOC itself, the International Olympic Committee, and LOCOG, you know, Seb Co and people like that saying to me, it's been wonderful for the Olympic Games, the, the result of the of the Tour de France, because leading in for the British into the Olympic Games and Saturday being the first event of the Games. I mean, as I say, a million people will be on the roadside on Saturday, and that will probably be the biggest crowd ever for an Olympic Games event in the in the in the doping or anti-doping we are a pioneer in the field of anti-doping with the biological passport the first international federation to apply the biological passport it is acting as a huge deterrent we can see and everybody you know the media even and and, and the teams and and everybody around cycling can see the difference can see the change we still have athletes who, who make stupid mistakes and you know we had um you know select on 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 the tour this year we still have to wait and see what his story is or what the eventual outcome is um in relation to <coughs> the armstrong affair which is hanging over our heads you know even though it goes back 15 years and so forth you know it's it's a negative hanging over our heads and the sooner it's set, settled and sorted the better that we can move forward